This is the only organization that I've ever wanted to play for. This is the only organization that I want to play for, and this is where I want to finish my career. I've been vocal about that since day one. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast. The Yankees finalized a three-year deal worth $51 million with Derek Cheater on Tuesday. The contract also includes an option for 2014. Jeter has spent his entire 16-year career with New York, becoming the face of the franchise. Under his leadership, the Bronx Bombers have won five World Series titles. While there was little doubt he would sign anywhere but New York, Jeter was not amused at how the whole process went down. It was not an enjoyable experience because I've, I've you know, throughout the years, I've prided myself on keeping things out of the papers and out of the media, and this turned into... Uh, a big public thing so that was something I was not I was not happy about and yeah, I let my feelings be known. It was a rather quiet day in Florida at day two of the winter meetings. Everyone seems to be waiting for the next domino to fall with the biggest question being where will Cliff Lee land? Some rumors on Tuesday had the Washington Nationals joining the Yankees and Rangers as the team's very interested in Lee services. Here's MLB.com analyst Jim Duquette with the latest on Lee. There's a team that has been rumored to offer, have offered a seven-year deal anywhere between 140 to $175 million, which is a huge range. Really what we don't know is we know it's, the Nationals have been ruled out at least this far in terms of offering that. The Yankees and the Rangers are clearly the team that are still involved in the mix there. We don't know. This could be a, a, an initial offer by one of those clubs, and then they're just trying to keep it covert. Or it could be something that's been thrown out there by the agent to maybe try to kickstart the the uh, negotiations. And Commissioner Bud Selig took time to honor four legendary managers who retired after the 2010 season as Joe Torre, Lou Pinella, Cito Gaston, and Bobby Cox were all recognized by the commissioner for their contributions to the game both on and off the field on Tuesday at the winter meetings. You did the ultimate. You made this sport better for your generation. And I hope all the young managers who come forth will set the great example that the four of you did. Thank you very much. For more on these stories and for complete winter meetings coverage, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.